Not for 79, that's going to be Stuart McGill to bowl for the first time in a test match for Australia. It's coming on a pitch that uh, Warren didn't turn the ball much. The opening batsman is set. So it's going to be a good test. It will, and it'll be a great moment for Stuart McGill. He's got the performances uh, so far this summer, 35 wickets. He's uh, young in experience, but uh, a wonderful moment for him just coming up. Oh, great start. Quite useful performances so far this summer. Six wickets in the game against Victoria, six against New Zealand, and seven against Queensland. Then six and four and six. Yep. I was saying a little earlier, Bill, I reckon that uh, it's certainly worth bearing in mind for everyone that the selectors must come up with some backup for Shane Warne. They've done it with Stuart McGill and uh, he should have an extended trial. He's the best around at the moment, apart from Warren. We've got a lot of left arm orthodox, off spin, left arm over the wrist, but this fellow is the only other leg spinner I know of any quality around Australia. Nicely bowled. Yes, it's not an easy skill. Rarely does a leg spinner come into a test match and have instant success. We think Warren in his first test match against India got a hiding, one for 100, one for 150. And Ravi Shastri made that magnificent double century. Very inexperienced cricketer. It's a big rise from Sheffield Shield cricket to Test cricket with a handful of matches. It's gone for him. Well hit, straight down the ground. I'll go all the way. He's playing very intelligent cricket this morning. Adam Barker, run for 83. Did lay a bat on it and hit it for four. Well, I think the South Africans have been shackled all summer by Warren. You get a guy who's prepared to come down the crease. It's Adam Barker. He took him on. He was a fraction short, but he hit straight through it. And uh, I give him full points. I give him full points for having the courage to come down. The captain did it in the one-day final and missed out, but I think that's first punch, counter-punch there by Adam Barker and hit him right on the snout. 